Chu 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 The world is losing about 10 million hectares of forest each year due to deforestation, about the size of Iceland, and insects damage about 35 million hectares of forest annually. Forests are very crucial for the survival of human beings. We are heavily dependent on them, and yet we are allowing them to disappear. Is this justice to our mother nature? The increasing human population and the rapid pace of urbanization have resulted in mass cutting of trees, which is in turn destroying the environment and posing as a threat to our survival. What will be our future? The Chipku movement is a forest conservation movement of India. Today, beyond the eco-socialism hue, it is seen increasingly as an eco-feminist movement. In 1987, the Chipku movement was rewarded the Rice Livelihood Award for its dedication to the conservation, restoration and ecologically sound use of India's natural resources. With the aim of a sustainable future, people around the world come together to celebrate this day and to spread awareness of how important the forests are and the impact it has on all of us. And today, we the students of Humanity Stream are all set to acknowledge you about the significance of this day with the hope to spread love for the forest. The United Nations General Assembly proclaimed 21st March as the International Day of Forest. And the theme for this year Forestry Day is Forest and Health. Countries are encouraged to undertake local, national and international efforts that involve activities related to forests such as tree planting campaigns. The significance and importance of forests can be traced back in history. The Romans took a keen interest in trees and imported tree seedlings all along the Mediterranean and developed groves in Germany. Famous authors also wrote extensively on the topic of trees, their manner of growth, characteristics and environmental aspects that affect them. In terms of modern development, formal education in forestry began in 1825 when the first schools of forestry were set up. These were the outgrowth of the old master schools, such as the Cotter Master School, which later developed into the Forestry College at Thaten, one of the leading schools of forestry in Germany and because of which the reputation of German foresters in the 19th century stood so high that they were employed in most continental European countries. The 20th century also saw a steady growth in farm laws and policies which were put in place to protect uh, woodland as enduring assets. According to Global Forest Resource Assessment 2020, the world has a total coverage of 4.06 billion hectares, which is 31% of the land on the earth is covered with forest. And to conclude, I would like to state a quote by John Muir, who has greatly said, the clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.